Hi, in this tutorial, we will going to learn how to load uh, multiple Excel files uh, using for each loop container. Uh, I'm going to show you guys easy way to do that. All I need from you guys just to follow up my steps and couple of the things that you need to uh, fix. So your package will be uh, run successfully. Um, and first, let me start with just naming my package. Uh, files. So first of all, I have these Excel files. I need to loop uh, my process to over all these files and load them to my destination right here. Uh, Excel table. This is my table. Let me just select everything so I can use it later. Here, the name, title, company, location. This is the columns. Uh, same here uh, in Excel, it has the, those four columns. Name, title, company, location. So what I need is, I need to loop over all these, uh, you know, uh, like Excel uh, files into, uh, to load them into my destination. First of all, come right here. And what do you need here to start? First, create for each loop container. This is how, like, I can loop over all my um, files. Uh, before that, you have to create two variables. Remember, two variables. The first one called file path. And let me see here, it's a string. How can I take it? Like, it's from here. Just right click, copy, and come right here, paste just to make sure you have to complete it with a uh, forward slash and the file name which is this variable will contain all the file names here dynamically i'm not gonna put any file names here because it will be filled uh, once the for each loop uh, start uh, uh, looping over all the files it will take these files names like pros prospect B C and go all the way to K so I have those two variables created now I need to create uh, I need to create first my Excel source which is my files let me go here just pick anyone, anyone pick and double click on it. This is my uh, file path, press OK. And I have to create my destination, which is right here, MolyDB, add. And this is my uh, database. And now, now I will come to for each loop container, double click on it, go to collection, First of all, I have to go to an expression to add my file path. Go to a directory and go to expression. Open your variables and parameters. Drag and drop the file path. Just make sure it's right here. Press OK. Press OK. Now, uh, after you create your uh, your expression, after you uh, um, name it right here for uh, like assign the file path here I have to come right here to the variables and select the file name in a file name this is where it's pick uh, the, the file name dynamically okay but here make sure you need and something else you have to select name and accept and extension here where the files you have to say XLS why if you are not saying XLS, like everything just like this one, it will go over all the files here, which is I have another three files. I put them here on purpose. This is the, uh, the files. So it will throw you an error. So what you have to do is 
you have to specific or specify the extension right here the suffix here it says it will says xls okay all the files that uh, end with uh, dot xls now my for each loop it's completed what i have to go right now to data flow in a data flow i will simply just create uh, a, uh, like a, a flow of loading only one uh, uh, file so my data flow will be go to right here the first sheet this is my excel file that i created the connection manager is right here and the first sheet right here so this is all the files that start with the b letter press ok press ok what's wrong error data flow in a database press ok i'm not sure what's going on now is good press ok okay anyway so let me go back to destination and a destination i'm going to select my connection manager that i created early and i'm going to select my table destination table called excel table the mapping here make sure that's each column it's mapped to its matching uh, destination so press ok now if i run it if i run only this one i will see only one file but i need it to loop over all the files this one it's been uh, configured already i have my two uh, variables it's been created only uh, already uh, only i have two things i have to make sure is first of all you have to come here right click go to properties of your uh, excel and go to expression in expression i need to specify the excel file path and go to here in expression and file path drag and drop it plus the file name here i am seeing only the file path as we mentioned earlier that the file name will be dynamically loaded with data once the for each loop start uh, looping over the files so this will be empty currently and press ok don't worry about this uh, uh, error sign what you have to make sure is go to all the delay validation of everything here in control flow first of all make sure like that's your excel connection manager is turned to true the same thing go to the data flow right here turn it to the true the same thing here for the for each turn it to a true cause i don't want to validate anything uh, up front because i have already error right here uh, this will error will be because of the, my expression this error is true because i have don't i don't have the file name yet so my uh my my uh my connection manager is saying something is error because you didn't specify the name uh here but here will be my name will be looped over and goes to fill my connection manager after it start looping uh if i run my package right now it'll throw me an error one last thing i have to do is but before that let me show you what the error is if i run it the error will be the valid validation as well see guys i have an error and the error here is talking about you know like there were error during tax validation so what you have to do is you have to make sure your project it's not running under the uh, 64 uh, bit runtime how i can make sure that go to your properties and go to configuration properties go to debugging the run 64-bit runtime it's supposed to turn uh, into false 
WordPress. Okay, this is only when you are using Excel uh, Connection Manager. If you are using Flat File, you are be good. Now I will run it. Now see guys, it's start looping. The error mark it's be gone and everything is right. So let me go here and select my table. Here we go. All the files here with the letters are here C, G, K, B, D, F, H, J. So this is how you are looping and using your uh, for each loop in order to load multiple Excel files. Uh, thank you for watching and hope this video is was, was useful for you guys and see you for next videos. Thank you. Bye.